Hello everyone, my name is Seifun, and in this lecture you will learn about uh, evidence acquisition and we will also use the FTK imager. So before diving into practical examples of evidence acquisition in digital forensics, it is essential to clarify and understand some key terminologies. This foundational knowledge will help ensure you are well prepared to follow the processes and techniques effectively. Understanding terms like evidence acquisition, disk imaging, data integrity is crucial to conducting accurate forensic investigations. Now, so here we have the evidence acquisition. This is the process of gathering digital data while ensuring it remains unchanged and admissible in court. We also have the disk image. This is a technique used to create an exact copy of all data on a storage device. This allows investigators to work on the copy while preserving the original data for potential future use in court or further analysis. Types of disk images, we basically have the full disk image, which captures everything on the drive, and the logical image, which focuses on the specific files or partitions. And we also have the data integrity uh, to ensure evidence isn't altered during acquisition. Uh, the physical write blockers are used. So these tools prevent any changes from being made to the original device during the imaging processes. And we also have the imaging tools, uh, software like FTK Imager, which we will, uh, both of them, uh, FTK Imager and in case we will use this in uh, this course, is used to create exact copies of the data. So there are industry standard tools uh, in digital forensics. And also the last phase is verification. After creating the image, uh, checksums and hashing algorithms are used to verify the integrity of the copied data. Matching checksums between the original and the image confirms that data hasn't been tampered with, which is crucial for court presentations. To verify the integrity of a forensic disk image, several techniques and algorithms are used to ensure that the data remains unaltered. These include checksum generation. This is a checksum is a numerical value generated based on the data within the file or disk image. So this provides a quick way to check if the data has been modified. So if the checksum of the original file matches that of the image, the data is confirmed to be unaltered. So it's good to go. And um, hashing algorithms are the mathematical algorithms that generate a unique fixed length uh, string. Uh, we also call it hash value based on the data content. So if even a single bit of data changes, the hash value will change completely, making it reliable way to check data integrity. So we will explore how to use FTK Imager to create your first forensic image. Now, first thing first, we will open our web browser to download uh, FTK Imager. We will write FTK Imager and probably click on the first result. Create download. After entering some correct information here, and proving you are not a robot. Click on verify and submit. That's it. As you can see here, it is downloading now. After FTK Imager successfully downloaded, we will click on and click yes is extracting this might take some time click on next accept next next and install launch the access data FTK imager and that's it FTK imager is ready to go all right now that we have downloaded and installed the FTK imager 
Now let's dive into its core functionalities. Specifically, we will be focusing on the Add Evidence Item tab, um, which is the heart of the FTK Imager. This is where you can add different types of evidence for forensic analysis, such as the physical drives, logical drive, image file, and uh, contents of a folder. So let's uh, break each of these down and see how they work. And once you have launched FTK Imager, you will see the main interface like this here. Um, now, obviously, to begin analyzing evidence, uh, you will click on the file menu, but you can also capture memory, create disk image, but we will cover that in next lectures. Now, um, here, uh, this opens a window where you can choose the source of uh, ev your evidence. Now, uh, let's start uh, with the physical drive option. So, selecting this allows you to create an image of an entire hard drive, including every partition and all sectors. This is useful when you want to capture every bit of data, including hidden partitions, slack space, and unallocated sectors and once selected um, you will choose the physical drive uh, connected to your system uh, ftk imager will then start reading and explaining contents of entire drive and this is my system drive and this is my additional drive here we will click on finish and as you can see here we can see all the drive tab in, um, in hexadecimal order so i don't have much of the uh, here and my partition table erotic system. I might wonder. Yeah, I have two files the drive EO and some video I captured here. Uh, so that's it. Now remove all evidence items. You can click on that and there's a new, or you can simply just close and open FTK Imager again. And I recommend this way. Now uh, we will also have logical drive. Uh, next up is the logical drive option. This is used when you only need to analyze the file system within a specific partition or, or drive on a drive. So instead of imaging uh, the entire physical drive, you are focusing on a single logical volume like C, D, or E. So this is especially useful for more targeted investigation uh, where you are only interested in a specific partition and don't need data from the entire disk right so we will click on a and finish now we are seeing that again and we also have the image file the third option, image file, lets you add an existing forensic image for analysis. Uh, for example, if you or another investigator has already created a disk you image using FTK Imager or another tool, you can load it here to analyze the contents. And once the image is loaded, FTK Imager will treat it as if the original drive, allowing you to examine all the contents just like you will do it physical or uh, logical drive now finally uh, here we have the contents um, of folder so this option is for when you need uh, to perform let's call it the logical file uh, level analysis here you can add contents uh, of a specific folder and analyze the files inside Keep in mind this method only includes the existing file and excludes deleted, deleted uh, files here. So this option is perfect for quick, uh, lightweight analysis when you only need to look at specific files rather than performing a deep dive into entire volume or images.
FTK Imager is a powerful forensic imaging tool used by law enforcement and corporate investigators to acquire data from computers and other digital devices. It is a free, open source tool developed by Access Data. Now, it is designed to be easy to use while still providing powerful features. It has simple graphical user interface that allows users to quickly select the source device they want to image um, and it also supports multiple imaging formats uh, such as n case so you can which we, we can see the list of this let me click on this and add n case raw um, aff um, advanced forensic format and uh, secure multi-access recovery technology smart now, additionally, uh, FTK Imager can create images that are encrypted with advanced uh, encryption stand standard A ARS, or AIS, yes, uh, which is 256-bit encryption for added security. And it includes several advanced features that make it an uh, invaluable tool for digital forensic investigators. For example, it has the ability to search for specific keywords within an image file or across multiple images at once. It can also create carve out files from an unallocated space on a drive or partition, which can be useful in recovering deleted files or providing evidence of malicious activity on a system. Additionally, it has the ability to create hashes of images that can be used to uh, verify their integrity during an investigation now we will create we will start uh, creating our first forensic image we will click on fdk um, we will start the fdk imager and it will present the basic graphical user interface shown here now um, now we will click on the file option create disk image and select physical drive and click on next now uh, here um, uh, we selected physical drive it will prompt us to select a drive uh, from the list of available drives I will select 12 gigabytes drive that I, I have just created and click on finish and as you can see here uh, we have the create image dialog here so in this step, uh, we need to select the settings for image destination and file type. Now we will select the E01 format. Uh, however, you can select any type uh, from the list. The differences between each um, is not big, but they have the difference. For example, the raw DD, um, this is a common among forensic analysis tools. This format does not contain any metadata headers or even magic values and it is uh, the this dd format is supported by most open source forensic device the um, softwares and we also have the aff this in this format uh, the disk image created does not lock the user into a proprietary format which prevents them from being able to properly analyze it we have the smart this file format is good for linux uh, linux file system uh, since it keeps the image as pure bit streams with optional compression and also e01 format is uh, format compresses the image file uh, images in this uh, format will start with case information and the header and folder which has uh, m the yeah md5 yeah, yeah md5 ha md5 hash of the entire bitstream but i guess you can also make it mm, like different as hashes or no 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 it is uh, the md5 hash of the entire bitstream and this case information contains the date and time of acquisition the investigator's name special notes and you can also add optional password here you can see the case number is um first case or so on now uh, we need to fill fill this uh, evidence information uh, related to our case this information will be vital for identifying evidence found in the image and relating it uh, with other types of evidence that are available for that 
specific uh, case. Let's say um, web defacer hacker PC 001 case number 001 or <laughs> it's the case number and evidence numbers 00001 unique description defacer or uh, website hacker web hacker uh, PC examiner let's say typhoon oxley not uh, do not you need special special creds to access this ask main investigator to access add next now we also have the in the step we will select the destination path for evidence this is where we want to place our image file and other related files after the acquisition and once the destination path is selected um, in this case we will just select desktop and image file name uh, and you, you keep in mind that uh, you will not add any extensions let's say my image case number 0001 uh, hacker dot no where without uh, of course excluding extension here now uh, we can also image fragment uh, size um, in this case if you add zero this will not fragment and compression mm, we don't want any compression too you can also add the encryption which we will not add that's it now after um, selecting create directory listing of files pre-calculate progress statistics and click on start you can see it might take some time now uh, once the process has been completed it will show us the drive image verify results window which holds the hash and other details about the image now that our image is ready and also that yeah we know what works found in image now our image is ready we can move on to collecting triage images using cape 